Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Derek and that with Sentinel Response. Appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, we felt led to make a few just resource videos uh, because one thing that we really love to do here is to teach people to be more self-sustainable with their firearms and caring for their firearms. Um, I believe that is paramount to um, responsible gun ownership is knowing how to properly care and manage your, um, your own firearms. So just got a couple resource videos here for you. Now, if you don't see something cover he covered here that you would like to see covered, feel free to drop a comment and we would love to provide that content for you. All right, so now we're gonna be talking about cleaning your AR-15 bolt carrier group, okay? Now you've got these things called takedown pins here. So two pins that connect and hold the upper receiver to the lower receiver. So you wanna just push the back pin Sometimes you gotta give it a little uh, push with something. So your upper receiver is gonna fold open and then you want to go ahead and grab your charging handle, pull back on your charging handle and your bolt carrier group comes out just like that. And charging handle to remove that as well. All right, everybody, so here we go. So you got your bolt carrier group right here. Now the first step you wanna take is flipping your bolt over like this and you are going to have your firing pin retainer pin right in here. Now this is really why I like these um, little picks here because you can stick it in there. There's gonna be, it's got a little loop on it but you can stick this right in there and then pluck as you can see. I'm gonna pluck this pin out. Okay, now make sure you don't lose this because your firing pin won't stay put if you lose that, all right? Now, next step is just to take your, your BCG and just flip it up like that. The firing pin will fall right out. Now, next is to push your bolt back like this and we're going to be removing the cam pin. Now, your cam pin, you should just be able to just turn it Turn it to the side, Oop, just like that, all right? Now you can just reach in there with your fingernail and push it up and remove your cam pin, okay? Set that off to the side. Now your, your bolt should just come out just like that, okay? Now you can use paper towels, old t-shirts. Um, I prefer like these shop rags. Uh, yeah, just clean off all that carbon. Give it a good spray with some some little gun cleaner here. I actually prefer to use brake cleaner on my gun parts because it does a really good job of getting off a lot of the carbon. But if you're cleaning your firearms indoors, I do not recommend spraying brake cleaner in your house. It is pretty potent. Um, yeah, so next step, you could just take your here and just spray in there now what I do is I'll just take like a paper towel these shop towels and just twist it you can just kind of get that in there just like that now you could also too this thing on top is the gas key so this is what um, where all that gas goes when the rounds go off, when the rounds go off, all that gas goes in there. Just give it a good wipe down. All right, to put it back together, you want to take your bolt. Now, what you want to be sure of is that this part right here is called your extractor. Okay, let me see if I can get that camera to focus sometime this year. <laughs> All right, your extractor, it's right here, okay? This is your extractor. You wanna make sure that is pointed towards the outside. 
okay you just push it in just like that now when you push it back you want to make sure that it's lined up if you can see line it up here and then you're going to take your cam pin and you're going to slide it in just like that and then you're going to turn your cam pin just like this now when you turn your cam pin and grab your bolt move it forward just like this okay now next take your firing pin and then just drop it in there just like that make sure it's clipped down it's all the way down next is just going to be taking your firing pin retainer pin and it's going to this little recess here you want to take your pin and just kind of slide it in there sometimes it can slide in all the way where it will push all the way forward but sometimes it won't that's why i like these because you can kind of poke this in there and then just guide that pin guide that pin into the hole all right now when it's together it's going to look like this it's going to be flush or underneath in this recess here okay and that's it she's she's back together ready to go back in your gun all right so your upper receiver so your upper receiver is going to have a little slot that you can you can find it so when you when you go to stick your charging handle back in you can kind of slide it and find that little slot and it'll just kind of pop pop right in there okay there you go just like that i just want to take your bolt just slide your bolt right back in there just like that close your upper receiver Push that pin back in. Just do a quick little function test. And you're all done.